<laughs> What's up, modern steaders? I hope you guys have eaten your Wheaties because we gotta get we gotta get that chicken tractor down there, all the way up there to the apple orchard. <laughs> Let's get to it. Just giving them a look over for the first time this spring, and the plastic tore a little bit there. I think it basically just came out of the screw more than anything, so that's probably an easy repair. This one on the back end tore a little bit while the wind we had, but that's totally salvageable. I'm just gonna drag it up now. Normally when we're moving them, we're only moving them 10, 15 feet a day, so it's not a big deal. But today, we gotta go a few hundred feet. This is gonna be a workout. No need for a gym membership here. Let's take out as much of the weight as we can. or not but we're gonna try moving the chicken tractor with the tractor we were going good and then we hit a rock Right here, I'm trying to get that baby out. <laughs> Looks like I've hit it a few times with the mower, so if we can get it out, that'll be really good. Jeez. And then we got another one. All right, look at that. And I won't hit him with the mower this summer. We made it more than halfway so far. We're up the hill. It's in one piece still so far. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm wearing a winter hat and it's May! What the heck? When I was at the feed store this afternoon, they told me we have chance of snow next week. Come on! I wonder if it's wide enough there. One more obstacle to get around. Can we do it? We got our well. All right, that's the general area we want it. We'll get the poultry netting set up and then we'll arrange the chicken tractor a little bit better. So now we got our fence all laid out. We gotta go around and support the corners. That is the trick. So without propping up the corners, with propping up the corners. Ready? Sag. Propped up corner, not propped up corner. For our fencer setup, we just have an electric fencer that's battery operated. A battery that we charge up when we need to. And a firewood cart. And that's how we're gonna move it around. We don't have one of those fancy solar ones yet, maybe someday. Let's move the chickens. I'm gonna try moving them without coaxing them with grain. Let's see if they'll follow me. 
Come on. You ladies want to come out? Come on. They might come. Come on, guys. This way. Come on. Come on, girls. We got a new, better place waiting for you. <laughs> Come on, in there. <laughs> Well, that didn't work. <laughs> we got him in. Success. The fence is hot. And they're in. Let's see how they do. All right, modern steaders. Day one of the chickens cleaning out the old growth apple orchard for us. This is what it looks like now. They've been going to work and cleaning it out a bit. We just got the chicken tractor out here for temporary use. And the reason we have the chicken tractor out here is, is we're waiting on the weather to cooperate a little bit better so we can finish building the mobile chicken coop. So it'll be interesting to see how quick they clean up this mess. So today is day one. It's 4.30 in the afternoon, so tomorrow, late afternoon, will be day two. We'll see how they do. The other nice thing about the laying hens being out here and the couple of ducks we have is it frees up this coop, our winter chicken coop. We're gonna need that anyways come next weekend. We're gonna be putting the piglets in here to turn our deep bedding system into compost for us. They got some hay and grain and manure all in here to turn for us, but that means the broody hen, yes, this lovely lady, gets her own coop. And as soon as I get a chance, I'm gonna stick all the chicks in here. So maybe the mother hen will like that. I don't know. But we're gonna try it because I wanna get all the meat birds and the bod rock chicks out of our basement and out here. Until next time, Modern Steaders, if you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below, subscribe, and share the video. It really helps. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.